Good day to one and all. Hello everybody from sunny Cornwall. From a little town called Lou actually. And if you haven't seen our vlog from Lou, go back to yesterday's vlog. Absolutely have enjoyed today, haven't we? And it's only halfway through the day. Yep, so we're now actually, I've been hearing about this specific place that Dan's been to as a child and he's been quite recently in the last few years, haven't you? I've been loads of times. Paul Perot. Yep. My favourite place in the world, bar none. Uh, we're going there now. It's nine yep. minutes drive. Fingers crossed the roads are okay. And we get parking. And we'll have a good morn about the parking when we get there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to going because you always wanted to bring me here, haven't you? So Well, the beauty of it is, <laughs> this is the perfect day to go. It is 27 degrees, Mazzy. It's hot, very hot. 27, sunny, yeah. beautiful. Let's go enjoy the most beautiful place in the world. What's it called again? Paul Perot. Okay. Even the name is exciting. So, we're ready to go. Um, parking. This is my, my big, big morn of the day. Paul Perot is notorious nowadays for the price of parking. For a motorhome or caravan or a camper van, they charge £12 for three hours. There's, you can't have less. And if you want more, you've got to pay £28 for the full 24 hours, yet you can't stay here overnight either. So it's £28 a day or £12 for three hours, which is absolutely disgusting, considering it takes you an hour to get down and back. You're joking. No. Nope. So not happy at all. And it's not just here. Where else were we on about? Oh, I was going to surprise Mazza with the uh, Eden project. Looked at the prices. I thought, oh, it's probably going to be about £20 each. What were it? 36 38 don't know, pound each. Seven, something like that. To get into Eden Project. Yeah, I said no, no. Can't it, justify that. That's no. a tank full of petrol. It's absolutely <laughs> disgusting. It really is. No. That's just taking the mickey. Which is a shame because Eden Project is incredible and I'd love to have taken you, but we ain't paying it. Just will not pay that. Right, let's go enjoy Paul Perro. No more morning. No more moaning. I just had to get that out there. Yeah, it's not a good way of getting people to the local town, village, whatever this is though, is it? It didn't used to be like that. Mm. I don't How know why. How much is it for a car, do you know? The car is £6 for three hours. Half the price. But again, no. three hours isn't really enough. If you want to come down and spend the day down there, yeah, yeah. you have to pay, I don't know how much for a car, it's probably about 12 15 20 pounds for a car for 24 hours for the day. Anyway, all morns out of my system. Yeah, it's time to on. enjoy my favourite place in the world. Just showing them the prices, Mazza. Of what? Parking? Yeah. Anyway, that's Can all negativity out of the way now. now. Yeah. Let's enjoy. So, <laughs> we're at the Crumple Horn Inn. I've actually stayed in here, I think. Have you? I had a room for a couple of nights when I came on my own. I think when I were on 365, I think I stayed there. It's a nice little old whirly burly. Oldie, well, one, isn't it? it is a beautiful, beautiful pub with beautiful meals. Are we still having a meal here then? Yeah, Cornish pasty down bottom. Don't be stupid. I'm not having a Cornish pasty. Sausage roll for Mazzy then. So you've got the beautiful stream all the way down and bridges all the way down as well to the houses and things. Oh yeah, that's cute. It's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. This is one place where I don't mind picking something tatty up, what says Paul Pirro on it. Well, if, if it we means see something. A lot, this place means a lot to you, then why not? <laughs> now, this is something I tried to get into. <laughs> it actually changed my life. Giant veg competition. The famous Paul Pirro tradition is back for 2022. I've never heard of it, Mazzy. Do you really know your onions? Is it only onions they're growing there? Any giant veg, Mazzy? Yeah, you've got a story about that though, haven't you? Well, that's what made me a gardener. <laughs> I got an allotment and I got into wanting to grow the biggest veg in the world. Yeah. And I actually got a, sea, a sweet corn, corn from the biggest sweet corn in the world. 
um, from the guy who has the world record. And I was going to try and do that. Anyway, I didn't. So I got an allotment. I was trying to grow giant veg. Loved it all so much. I ended up applying for a job in a garden centre. <laughs> and I was a gardener till, what, 40? I do know if we do ever get a house, you'd love to have an allotment, won't you? I, would, I definitely or want to something grow got lots big of things. Garden. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a shed, a man shed. Man so shed. I, 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 we don't even need an house. Just a garden with a nice shed. Oh, where am I going to go all day? You'll have me in Motor your man home. shed. Motorhome. Yeah. Round the year, roll. <laughs> Something else Cornwall is mad for. What? Hydrangeas. Oh, that's the first one I've seen. <laughs> for some reason, they grow incredibly well in Cornwall, as do palm trees. Oh, do they? Yes. Yeah, it's really nice, just coming down. At least you got sat down this, you know, this walk in this hill. At least you got something to look at, didn't you? It's just pretty. Look at that for a statue up there. Oh, a stag. A oh, wooden stag. Lovely. Very nice. Yeah, I was trying to explain this place to Mazid. There is hardly any shops, really. It's just, but well, it's enjoyable beauty. just walking past the houses because yeah. it's the beauty. I know, it's nice. It is one of the most picturesque places I've ever known anywhere. We'll get in there now. You enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really different, isn't it? Oh, this looks nice. Oh, look at, look at this. that. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> I'm spotted the same thing. Wow. Yeah. I'm definitely seeing some uh, Shops I haven't seen before, like Cornish pasties there. Oh, yeah. There used to be a stand I used to get them off. It was like, you know, one of these caravan type things. Which was just down here. I don't know if it's there anymore. I'm seeing a sign over there for Model Village. Yeah, that Land is... Land of Legend. That is it behind there, I think. Well, it says 50 yards down on the right. Yeah, that's where you... I think you're getting up there. Oh, oh. It's behind there. It's just so pretty here, isn't it? Look at this balcony for this hotel. Oh, wow. How lovely. Look at the, the vines and the flowers. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? This is what spoils it. Yeah. Cars. And I didn't think they were allowed down. Oh, I suppose they're delivery. The delivery oh, ones. Oh, it, yeah. It's delivery ones. But it does yeah, spoil it. it. Definitely. We're talking about something with Paul Perro on yes. it, but maybe something useful as well. Yeah, of course. Just seeing these lovely cups, Paul Perro on them. Well, I'm thinking if we got, if you got the big one, yeah, it wouldn't go to waste because I could use it every day. Yeah, there is a really, really big one. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> It's so different here. I've never been, it's, I've never experienced something like this before. It's the most relaxed place I've ever been in my life. If I had to put a sort of a place on it, it's a bit like um, Robin Hood's Bay, possibly. Slightly, obviously better. Much better. Yeah, much better, but slightly like that, innit? Now this is where I got the... Oh, it's they're not doing it now. Oh, it's ice cream now. Proper Cornish pasties. This is where I got my Cornish pasties in the past. Oh, that sounds nice. Cheese tomato and basil. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. World champion pasty makers, 2018. <laughs> I'm going to have to take one with us. What makes you have to be a champion at making them? Well, they have competitions, don't they? Do you think it's the tastiest or the fastest or the biggest? The tastiest. Tastiest. The best. Shipping, look. This looks good. Yeah, the shipping. Cool, now, I've it? had a lot to drink in here. Over, have you? Yes. See yeah, her on the side there, look, I like that. The mermaid. Yeah. And the reason I say I've had quite a lot of drinks in there is because I stayed in a little cottage here. Oh, did you? It, it was tiny, but it was nice. This is nice. It was one of these I was in, Mazzy. Was it? I feel like we're being robbed. Why? 
Because there's another Rawley's fudge here. Yeah. Is it, we thought it was it, special. I thought it was special. Was, is it a com uh, commercial? It's obviously got a few uh, different branches. Yeah. Oh, look at the Can giant sausage roll. Look at the steak pasta. I'm getting hungry. Well, I saw a lady back right up the top. She, she had to have two hands holding. I'm not sure where she's got it from. Little hands. Possibly. Carnish pixie. Yeah, I didn't think that was well. I didn't know that was such a thing. It's like a good luck thing. I remember buying my grandma a little cheap pot yeah. one when I was a kid. It gives you good luck having a Cornish pixie. Right, this is where you're going to get the view, Mazzy, going round this corner. Oh, this is lovely. So I'll keep the camera on. <laughs> going round to the harbour now. This is where you want to live. Smile any bigger though. Look how quirky it is. I think we're on the wrong side. Oh no, it's down there. It's down there. Okay. Here we are. Oh wow. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Yes. In the house on the props. A bed and breakfast and a bar, I think. Literally dropped up by then. Coming up to my favourite place in the world to sit down, Mazzy. Where? Where they are with the dogs. Oh, okay. That's How my... are you feeling now you're back here? Well, it, it's changed quite a lot since I were here. More commercialised. It just seems to be a bit more here, but I think I don't it's come in. Nowhere, isn't yeah, it? I don't normally get here in summer. Yeah. So it's it's nice, I'm loving it. Let's get round here. I want to see this other view. So what I love about this place yeah. is you've got the harbour, you've got the quirky shops, yeah, lovely pubs, lovely food, and then you've got a little beer here with caves. You see the steps going up there, what yeah. led to something. I think there was a Paul Perro castle up there. Was there? I'm not 100% sure. You can get boat rides from here again, can't yeah. you? Boat rides every few minutes. Oh, it's so lovely there. Right okay. Found it, Mazzy. This was my favourite place. This is where you took the picture from, you must have done. There's been so many paintings and things done from here, from the benches behind us, of this particular bit. It just looks glorious, especially when all the boats are in. There ain't that many in today. Well, it's a good spot to do our thumbnail then, wouldn't you agree? Should we do our thumbnail here? Uh, I don't know if the sun's in the wrong place. Don't you stop moaning about lighting. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. What is that? <laughs> So my memory is because I've stayed in Paul Perrault a couple of times, so I've been able to drink in the past. My memory is just going in the Blue Peter Inn. Where is it? Here. Oh, this is it. Getting your drinks there and just taking them out here. And it just it was full of kids sat along here just crabbing. But the, the tide's not in at the moment. When the tide's in, I'm sure they'll be at it again. Seafood? Yeah. Oh, God. They didn't you like that smell? No, not at all. Proper smell, Mazzy. <laughs> I hate seafood, but I love the smell. Do you? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, the Cornish Chili Factory. Chili? Yeah, you wanted something Paul Perro. I did, but this is wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> Alpero Carolina Pile Cream. Oh. Pile <sighs> cream? No, it's chilli sauce, yeah? It's chilli sauce. Oh, is it just meant to be funny? Yeah. But how oh. can you have like Alpero and Carolina mixed into the same thing? Yeah. Anyway, I'm off my chilli. It doesn't do me insides any good. Look at Cornish pasty in it. This is somewhere where I've eaten Mazzy, but I don't think it'll yeah, be open Yeah, this looks lovely. Oh. Oh, is that where we can possibly eat? I could have sworn it was an Italian when I was here. 
No, this is like your poshest of the posh. Is it? <laughs> so we're not getting the Paul Perot cup. No. Eight, 18 pound. It it's is small. It's, you know, it's Cornish pottery. Yeah, it's, it's probably Cornish made wear. there. Yeah. Not paying 18 pound for a cup. Yeah. Um, right, so I need to get a pasty to take home for supper. Here, look, heading home, look, pick up a box of pasties and enjoy later, look. Oh, alright then. We'll that. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> What did you get? I got uh, lamb and mint and steak and stilton. That's unusual. I'm sure. Are you sure you're going to like the spice? Yeah. You are? Yeah, because it's Cornish pasta, Mother. Yeah, but it's smelly old cheese. Yeah, but I like Cornish pasta. Yeah, they're huge. They're very thick. Very thick. A lot of filling in these, I can tell. Right, let's find you a meal if we can. Well, we ain't got no food at home, have we? We're not going to get to the supermarket. <laughs> Did you fancy anything in there, Mazzy? No. <laughs> Not even the battered seagull? No. What was the other thing? S squirrel. Squirrel casserole. Squirrel mm. stew. It's something like that. What's... Oh, it's... It can't be real. They must be having a laugh. <laughs> Are they having a laugh? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, just a very quick look round Paul Perot. But, it uh, was... Uh, Absolutely lovely. It's all I needed. You know, we've had a wonderful day in yeah. Lou already. Yes. <laughs> and now we've been around Paul Perot and as long as I've come back, I'm happy. Really yeah. happy. It's definitely somewhere I feel to make the most of this place. Come for, and have a bit of lunch. Come for a bit of cake and tea or something. Isn't it? Well, it's the kind of place you really want to hire a cottage and stay the week. And actually and just course, spend the days on the beach in yeah, the bar. Yeah, there is some cottages all along here, so that's always available. Mm. Very nice. Uh, very nice, babe. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Can you see why I fell in love with it then? Yeah, yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> look at you all looking all swell. Well, I'm on holiday. Yeah, you're looking handsome, babe. Uh, I'm going to show you my shopping haul from yesterday. Do you like this? I just liked what it's called, what it says. If you think adventure is dangerous, try routine. It's lethal. I liked mm. that. Yeah. I did like that. Quite expensive at 5 99 but I thought for the message, I'm having it. Do you want to see all my other tops? Yay! So I got a short sleeve one. Only one short sleeve one. Only, well, a couple. Oh, did you? A couple. Very nice. Let's just get a proper look at that. I like that one. Four ninety nine. Does seem a bit thick. Four ninety nine M and S. Marks and Spencers. Um, I got a red number because I like red. Oh, I didn't know you got that, babe. Oh, that's nice. Okay, just a plain red one. Just to chill out in. That's yeah. nice. Um, I'm gonna save that. Oh, I got this. This was the bargain of the day. DKNY. Well, seven ninety nine is it a bargain? Just I like that though. Just a plain white one. Needs Mazzy to iron it for me. Yep, and only wear it when we're going out for a meal or something. So you've got to keep that one nice and clean. Nah, I wear that whenever. <laughs> whenever. Um, but yeah, plain yep, white. I like nice. that. What else have we got? A blue number. Yep. Quite a few long sleeved ones I got, I noticed, but... Uh, it's actually a very nice blue in real life, it's not coming up on... In real life. On, yeah, <laughs> it's not coming up on camera very well. That's autograph. Just a cheap make, isn't it? Yeah. 4 99 but it's nice and thick. Yep. Nice quality. But you think what you got there, though, is like the price of one brand new shirt, isn't it? You know? Yeah, 40 quid, all this lot. Yeah. Um, my favourite is... Oh. You did actually wear this yesterday, didn't you, when we got home? Yeah, my Where's Love Wally t-shirt. Where's Wally? I'll be looking forward to wearing that a lot. <laughs> Will you really wear that out? Yeah. And then, I think this is my favourite. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah. Alright, it's not summery, but I love it. It's it's very That's, retro, isn't it? Yeah, let me just show him up close. Very retro, and I'll tell you what, it oh, is Eva. incredibly thin. Is it? Really That's thin. Very, it's very, um... Oh, I don't know, I love that look. That's going to be good in hot weather, I think. Pair of flares. 
Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for today, I'm going to keep this on. Yeah. I need to go through my wardrobe, take some stuff out and put them in the little compartments under here so that these will fit in. I'll do that later. It's actually very early and what was it already? 27 degrees? 29 degrees 29. at half past eight. Ooh. Uh, I've never known that before in England. I, I can't sit out in it this morning, it's horrendous. What gets me is if you look at the weather it said it was supposed to be 17 degrees at the moment. Sorry I'm just getting your hat because you ain't showing them your hat on. Oh my hat. And you look very cute in it. Yeah Fits I love perfectly. It. Yeah, continue talking. Sorry, I interrupted. No, that's it. Oh. It's just ridiculously hot. Yeah. And this is not what the forecast. They said it was going to be 20 degrees at the most today. 29 degrees at half past eight. Yeah. So, we're moving on to a campsite now. Um, can't get on till two o'clock. And you have to leave by ten in the morning, I think, Mazzy. Yeah, ten in the morning. Yeah. Um... And it's still early, but we just have to get out of here. It's too hot. It's too hot, but we've got one big shop to do yes. for when we get on campsite for the fortnight. Yeah, some food for me. Oh, loads of food. Loads of food for me. <laughs> now, we got here last night, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We didn't go to the restaurant yesterday like we thought we were. They no. actually, we, we did pop in to try and see and they weren't serving food. So that was that out of the question, wasn't it? Uh -huh. All we had was your two hot pasties to take home then. Yeah. No food in the house. Very disappointed. Fish and chip shop fan came last night on site, but cash only, and we literally had zip two pound two pound two pound in change two pound yeah. So <laughs> gutted. So we had well to gutted. settle for us Cornish pasties, and I'll tell you what, they weren't I hated very nice. It. You hated it, didn't you? The what was it? Beef and Stilton. The potato in it was hard. It was horrendous. I had to eat. It was the only thing we would have eaten yesterday. The literally the only thing. And mine, what was mine? Oh, the lamb and mint. Lemon I took mint. two bites. So I, that's all I had, isn't it? Two yesterday. bites of a pasty, yeah. Not very yeah, nice. I had to throw that away. But anyway, never mind. Is it put you off pasties now? For a day or two, definitely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, let's get to Morrison's then, yeah? There's more reasons to shop at Morrison's at the moment, Mazzy. Why is that? I don't know. They just say it in adverts, don't they? Oh, right. <laughs> Let's go to Morrison's. Let's get off here. It's been lovely. Absolutely lovely. Lou and Paul Perrault. Beautiful places. Andrea, holiday park. Oh, yeah. Might be in there, Mazzy. Here, Tuesdays and what was the other day? Thursday, I think. Thursday. Right, well, there's our holiday park for the um, rally tomorrow. Tomorrow for two weeks. That looks nice, actually, doesn't it? I'm getting really excited Look how palm trees, Mazzy, I'm saying. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and, oddly enough, where we're staying tonight is just over there, somewhere. And Morrison's, where we're going now, is just down here. That's so handy, isn't it? Very handy. And, look, all the um, Wi-Fi you've got there, look. Oh, look at that. Piles of it, Mazzy. <laughs> Towers full of it. <laughs> yeah, we're here, in New Quay. Yeah! On holiday, there it is, Trent Creek Holiday Park, that's where we're going tonight. Oh, is it? Oh, it's up there then, is it? Yeah. 179.9 for diesel. No, it's not, it's 197. Uh, 197, I meant, one, yeah, 197. But that's the cheapest we've seen, isn't it? What, by two pence? Well, you know, considering how it's been going. <laughs> well, we've got enough petrol. Actually, yeah. tomorrow. I thought we were going to have to fill up. We're no. all right, are we? We should, we should be all right till payday next, after the holiday. Right, right. Morrison's, let's yeah, go get Morrison's. a nice shop. Some very cold things. Lots of barbecue stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yes! You have arrived. Mm. We have arrived and it's packed. Oh dear Lord God. I don't think it'll be this busy now. Can I get in there? But he's done what we usually have to do, isn't he? Uh, well, you know, they don't give you options. No, they don't. They're a lot shorter than us, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Shopping out of the way. Ouch! Ouch! Proper big shop today, look at this lot. Oh, there's Adley out in there, Mazzy. I thought I should have filled that up. 
Um, ice cream. Got to have ice cream. It's just so hot. But look at the fridge. Boom. Completely chock a block fridge. Um, yeah, we'll sort it all out when we're on campsite. At least it's in there. It's still cool from when we set off this morning. But uh, can't get on campsite for another hour. So I just hope the ice cream and things are going to be okay. Oh, that was stressful. Really stressful. Honestly, the prices have just shot up, haven't they? Have you noticed? Ridic 160 quid for us as actual foodie bits and stuff. I can't remember last time we spent that much. No. It was just cert certain prices were just unbelievable. Yeah, I noticed that on, you know, just your bare essentials, it was just mad. Kind of annoyed me today, actually. Did me. Is Did it me. just Morrison's? Maybe we're not used to shopping in Morrison's. And some of our items, like... I don't think it's just Morrison's, no. Mm, I don't know. It was a bit sickening. But then we didn't really have a lot in the house, you know, as essentials, so we had to stock up on a few bits, but... Yeah, we did go a bit over the top as well, I think, on meats and stuff. Well, we got loads of stuff for Barbies meats, and things like that. But let's be real, that still ain't even a week's worth of food. Oh, it was about two, three days. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm knackered anyway, I've just done all the unpacking, so... I helped. <sighs> Right, yeah, chill out. We've got an hour till we can go get on holiday. We're off on holiday, you see, in Newquay. We're in Newquay, but we're not on holiday until we get there. Yep. Relax. Yep. Right, the time's come, we can go. Yay! Oh, sorry about that, just dropped ya. Oh gosh, it's hot. Yeah, let me just undo my window. Yep. Trent Creek Holiday Park, here we come for this holiday. Yay! One day holiday. So what have I been doing in the meantime, just sitting here? Well, I've decided I'm going to split all our food up properly into freezer bags and freeze some of it and control Dan's portions. <laughs> because if not, Dan will just sling on, let's say he's got a pack of 10 sausages or 20 sausages there, haven't you? Yeah. He will just sling the whole 20 on and there's no point. So what's your plan? Splitting it up a little bit, you know, and not only that, but our fridge is sort of full, so I need to cut down on packaging and make it last as long as we can. Oh, this looks unusual. Trent Creek Holiday Park. Oh, it's pretty. Palm trees. I'm guessing we stay here. New arrivals, please call here. Right, we're on pitch 38, Mazzy. Yeah. 38. So we've got to good. go up here, go right at the tree, keep yeah. going and then turn right and then just keep going straight on and it's on the right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I can't wait to get on now. <laughs> Two o'clock to get on a site for me. It's, it's, yeah, it's, and it's... you have to be off for 10 in the morning. I don't like that. Yeah, two o'clock though, I just feel that's it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Hey ho. <coughs> Well, it is pretty. It is pretty. We've just had somebody stop telling us who, who, who knows us off this channel. Yeah. Telling us it's beautiful here. Oh, laundrette, takeaway cafe. Uh, bar doesn't open until 7 pm, which I think for a Friday is pretty poor. Yeah. Yeah. How about, like, if you want to. Do they do meals and stuff here? Uh, there is a cafe. I don't. Oh, I no. wasn't really listening to her, to be honest. Yeah, we're too tired. <laughs> I, I said, you know, she wanted to know if we wanted a map of the walks or something. I said, no, we're only here a night. Yeah. Anyway, it's not pointing at you. Let's see what's about. It's very busy. It is, isn't it? Right, I'm a bit lost here. Um, right, do we go down here? Yeah. yeah. Down here. I think. Is this a road? It's a skinny road. What do you expect? Wasn't. We're in Cornwall, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a man there. He looks like he's died. I won't film him. <laughs> it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's <what> it <laughs> Right, so we're down here. We're down here on the right-hand side. Gosh, we couldn't have gotten any further, could we? 
Oh, these are all like, are they in storage or are they annual? These on the left? They might be seasonal. There's a lot of seasonal here. Is this us? Where? Can't be, can't be can it? No, we'll be. We must be in between these two, look. Oh, someone's just left with an R in. Where's the peg numbers? 38. There is us. Oh, it's a nice pitch. So, reversing. Reversing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's got a very yeah, grassy yeah, smell. Yeah, I just, uh, oh. Blossomy. Might affect your um, air fever. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. So, this is a map of the site Tren Creek Holiday Park. Not to be confused with, I think it's called Ten Creek. Holiday Park, which is in Lou, where we're just, near Lou, where we've just been. Different okay. place. Uh, yeah, there is a fishing ponds down here. There's a swimming pool here, cafe, laundrette, bar, and it is beautiful outside. Absolutely stunning. It certainly is. I'm just going to show you as meats in a moment, but I'll just take you out because that smell, what we're smelling, it's these. I don't know what these are. The smell, beautiful. It's not honeysuckle, is it? No, can't be. But yeah, lovely, lovely place. Let's just show you as meat. If anything, I'd say people are a bit too close together. It seems to be a lot here. It's pretty crammed, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, yeah, we're in here for one night. Right, so this is all Dan's meat. I've not really picked meat up today, have I? I've got like halloumi cheeses chicken. and salads and oh yeah yeah I've got a steak and a chicken which I've already divided in the freezer. Sausage and bacon. Yep that's an obvious. And then I went for these because it was a three for one. Oh no. No no no. Them three for ten for a tenner. These three for a tenner which, which is I really good. Brilliant. The gammon joint you know for yeah. three pounds thirty three. We love gammon don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and pepper grill steaks I do like them and uh, yeah, look at that. Are they big? Are they really that? They're far. Oh, no, they're not that. I thought that was one long one, but they're it's They're not. not as many in there as I thought, but ten is still a lot. Show them, look, look, this is... Oh, hang on, we're coming on to that. Oh, OK. I've got the sun right in me. Oh, hey. uh, uh -huh. Butcher's British Pork uh, Ribs, £3.87. I thought that were a good price for some proper good ribs. Yeah. And then because... What is it today, Mazzy? Oh, I think it's today. It is um, today. Um, Donna Kebab, National Donna Kebab Day or something. It's National Kebab Day. Kebab, yeah. So, I'm not eating them today. I was going to, but actually. But you bought them today to support that, I you? did. Yeah. <laughs> now, I keep seeing this range, the best. It's gourmet collection. Gourmet collection. They have some amazing looking things. Very expensive. I don't know how much they were, but look at the size of these. £7.99, I think. That's not bad. It's called Queen Lamb Kebab. With a fruity coronation dressing. I'm not sure if you'd like that, oh, would you? Oh, would you? I'll, I'll eat all, mate. Oh, okay. So, yeah, two of them with that dressing. That's going to be good. Oh, they're on sticks as well, mother. Ready for barbie. Yep. Beautiful. But I'm splitting all this up so you don't go silly on the barbecue. All right? So, this is going to last more than a week now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's quickly do the thanks. Um... I've got to thank some people for sending us super thanks oh, yesterday. Oh, you need me to join in? Well, you need to do your bit, Mazzy. We have got to thank Busy. Busy! Thank you, Busy! <laughs> Lance and Nell. Oh, thank you, Nell. N Lance and Nell. <laughs> Cherry Desali. Thank you, Cherry. Anne Brewer. Thank you, Anne. Electric Yeti. Love that name. Thank you, Electric Yeti. And I was just about to say that as well. Cadwallander's Adventures. Thank you, Cadwallander's Adventures. Going for a Bimble. I liked that Thank name as well. Going for a Bimble. I actually had to look up what a Bimble was. What is it? I think it's like a walk or a stroll or a, a wander. Oh, OK. Going for a gander, so to say. <laughs> John Burry. Thank you, John. And Paul Young. Oh, thank you, Paul. You're all amazing. Thank you all very, 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 very much. That's going to fill the van up with petrol. <laughs> right. Let's say goodbye yes. for this vlog. We'll yes. catch you tomorrow from us, the start of us next holiday. 
for two weeks holiday. That's two weeks holiday. It's going to be exciting. Uh, we can get there at nine o'clock in the morning and we're just round the corner. We're very excited. Yeah. Very excited indeed. Right, say goodbye then. Bye bye. Love bye. you all. Love y'all. Bye bye. <laughs>